If you run a medical practice, you may have wondered how you can monitor your patients remotely. The COVID-19 pandemic has caused plenty of supply issues in the healthcare industry. One supply shortage that people often don't think about is the shortage of patient information. Hi, I'm Markeisha, your host for this video, and today we're going to talk about remote patient monitoring. We will find out what remote patient monitoring includes and the many tips on keeping it HIPAA compliant. We will look at the software, programs, and tools you need to run effectively, all while keeping patient information safe. Let's learn more. As mentioned in the intro, there is currently a supply issue in healthcare due to the pandemic. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration highlighted these issues with its recent list of medical supply shortages, which has a list of 20 different items. While it is clear that many medical professions can't get their hands on everything they need, it isn't as obvious that there is a different supply and demand problem affecting the medical field, the shortage of patient information. How exactly has COVID-19 impacted the way medical professionals collect data? The pandemic has disturbed the traditional methods of patient monitoring, like in-person visits and stays at long-term care facilities. A good example is hospitals in areas with high infection rates. They might not have the space to keep other patients under observation, or perhaps patients don't want to stay there because of an increased risk of infection. This means that providers are having to find creative ways to monitor their patients. That's where remote patient monitoring, or RPM, comes in. When patients can be monitored from their homes, it helps keep medical staff and patients safe while still giving practitioners access to collecting vital health data. Remote patient monitoring is a form of telehealth that really focuses on tracking a patient's long-term health. It involves a network of monitoring patients through telehealth tools, virtual visits, and follow-ups through phone calls and texts. Remote monitoring is typically for patients who fall under two categories, patients who have serious chronic conditions like heart failure, and patients who are likely to have a sudden deterioration in their health, such as those who've just had major surgery. Patients like this are more in a fragile condition. While they often need help managing their health, it can be difficult to have them have extended stays in the hospital or make it to in-person visits. Why? Not only are they more likely to get a severe case of COVID, many of these types of patients have mobility concerns, making it more difficult to do in-person appointments. With the extra hardship of traveling, many don't want to bother traveling to a healthcare center at all. However, this does make them more willing to explore other healthcare options. One survey found that 64% of patients, 40 and above, would be willing to wear some sort of health monitor if it reduced the number of times they had to go to the hospital. This survey drives home the fact that patients aren't opposed to getting the healthcare they need, they just want an easier way. By adding an RPM program to their service, Hospitals and medical providers are giving their patients an easier way to receive care. In return, these practices see an improvement to their patients' overall satisfaction. Before you just start doing RPM, you need to get prepared. How do you even get started? Remote patient monitoring comes with a set of legal regulations, online services, and tools. There are so many different services that these mobility solutions are expected to be worth $276.6 billion by 2027. How do you even go about choosing the right strategy for your practice? The first thing you need to focus on is ensuring your service is HIPAA compliant. HIPAA, the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, is a federal protection law that requires healthcare practices to follow certain requirements for online healthcare tools and services. Among those requirements are regulations restricting access to sensitive information and transferring data securely. HIPAA applies to all aspects of healthcare, but it definitely affects RPM programs. What in particular do these types of programs need? The first thing to do is invest in security features for all of your devices. Every telehealth practice needs electronic devices. These devices help you handle your challenging task from collecting patient data and doing patient outreach to scheduling appointments. You will frequently be using these devices to access sensitive patient data. So if you don't secure these devices, any unauthorized user can retrieve or view confidential patient information. 
Some very simple ways to keep your data safe include implementing password policies, encrypting communication channels, and installing a remote data whipping safeguard should the device get lost or stolen. These security features in your devices play a very important role in keeping your RPM program HIPAA compliant. However, all of that hard work can be erased if you connect these devices to unsafe third-party tools. RPM relies on wireless tools and healthcare apps to send patient data. You can't just consider functionality when it comes to picking these software tools. Any tool you pick must be HIPAA compliant. Lucky for you, there are many RPM tools that do meet HIPAA requirements. Some of the most popular HIPAA compliant software providers include Jotform, Dexcom, Synsonix, Medtronic, Presidio, Livestream, and Philips. Each of these software tools provides important medical information, such as vital signs or blood sugar levels. You can tailor these tools to provide information to your patients on specific health issues, and then receive that information to make the right medical decisions for them. How do you make sure that you're giving patients the right physical tools for their medical issues? When collecting patient health information remotely, your patients are going to need the right telehealth equipment. Most of your patients are not going to know what tools to buy. It is often up to the providers to create their own telemedicine kits. Creating these kits ahead of time ensures that the patients have everything they need to monitor their health. Toolkits might include blood pressure cuffs, blood glucose meters, virtual stethoscopes, wireless scales, thermometers, and more. Each of these tools can tell you essential medical information, and the information will be sent directly to the provider and the patient's smart device. Just because the patient has the right tools does not mean they know how to use it. It's up to you to train them. When used correctly, telehealth tools are an invaluable part of remote patient monitoring, but using them correctly might be a challenge for some people. Thankfully, most patients are willing to learn if you will train them. Some practitioners might be worried about the amount of time they will spend training their patients, but it doesn't have to eat up all your time. You might want to try posting virtual training sessions on your website so you can use the same training multiple times. If you notice that patients are still having technical problems, you could set up a helpline for patients to call. Once a patient figures out their device, you can start monitoring them. As that data is tracked, it might lead to treatment changes that could improve your patient's health. To discuss these changes, it might be time for a telehealth appointment with them. As telehealth has grown, video conferencing platforms have been a popular way to do these. Sadly though, not all of these video platforms are HIPAA compliant. A compliant platform will follow HIPAA safety guidelines, such as signing a business associate agreement, or BAA, with your practice and encrypting data processed through their service. Which video conferencing platforms are good at safeguarding protected health information, or PHI? Some of the best HIPAA compliant video conferencing platforms include Doxy.me, Theralink, Theranest, Simple Practice, and Zoom for Healthcare. A secure video conferencing platform is vital to conducting telehealth visits, but like any visit, even in person, you have to have some important information from the patients for the visit to go well. That is where online forms come in. Any kind of medical visit thrives on patient data. The more you have on hand, the better the appointment will go. Collecting that data gives you an overall better picture of a patient's health. That data also speeds up parts of the healthcare visits, like billing. The easiest way to gather this information is through an online form that can be filled out in advance. You can gain things from patient consent to insurance and billing information. JotForm offers specific templates you can use as a starting point for creating the forms you need. Plus, you can easily make JotForm's healthcare forms HIPAA compliant if you sign a BAA and are on their silver or gold plan. After receiving their patient's data, healthcare workers can then review and start gaining important insights about their patient's condition. How should healthcare employees then communicate back to the patient? Implementing a secure text messaging service allows medical staff to reach out while still keeping their data safe. Not every little thing requires a virtual healthcare appointment. Some things can be answered by a quick message. 
Say a patient forgot how to use their telehealth equipment or needs a reminder to take a new medication. These can be easily addressed. However, you can't just use any text messaging service. Remember that it must be HIPAA compliant. A HIPAA compliant text messaging service ensures that patient's information stays safe. Some of the best HIPAA compliant messaging services include OMD, Tiger Connect, Provider Tech, Halo Health, Spoke. Now you have the necessary tools and communication channels. Your telehealth business is ready to start. Once you start, you can't forget that while it is running, it must be HIPAA compliant. Just like a patient's health, your telehealth practice's security level can change. As the business grows, so will your security needs. You need to stay focused on these important tasks. Conduct regular risk analysis assessments. Sign a BAA with all service providers. Use HIPAA compliant third-party vendors. Appoint a HIPAA compliance officer. If you fall behind on monitoring HIPAA compliance, you could end up staring right at the face of steep legal penalties. Staying in compliance ensures that you'll be able to continue helping patients with RPM. New technology has changed the way we can help patients. By setting up a remote patient monitoring program, you can collect the data you need and manage and improve your patients' lives and health. JotForm can provide the tools you need to create an effective RPM program. Today, we talked about remote patient monitoring systems. We looked at the many ways to stay compliant. These include secure features in your devices, HIPAA compliant software tools, remote monitoring toolkits, training on RPM tools, choosing secure video conferencing platforms, HIPAA compliant online forms, secure text messaging services, monitoring your HIPAA compliance. I enjoyed our time together discussing RPMs. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Till then, take care.